before we actually jump into uh, A E B A S completely, um, and I get on to explain uh, what is what, I'd like you to know a little about the URLs, the things which we write down in the uh, the addresses that we write in the browsers, so that we get those forms and reports that we want arrive at. So what I'll do is I'll begin with uh, the first thing that I did upon uh, knowing that we are supposed to <coughs> implement AEBS was we went to this portal attendance.gov.in and we got a dashboard which displays a lot of information about all the registered employees and organizations at Delhi. Uh, I tried to locate East Coast Railway but it was nowhere to be found. Of course Railways was there, the Ministry was there, you can see the Ministry was there and they had a, they had a website of their own, they had a portal inside the, they had a domain within the domain which was Indian Railway dot attendance dot com dot in. Now obviously we as East Coast Railway didn't hadn't approached them so far and so there was nothing called East Coast Railway. So the first thing was to read the instructions and try to you know fill up these details. So let me get back to attendance dot gov dot in. Yeah. There is a button called organization registration. And I see told us to get in touch with this particular email id which is helpdesk hyphen attendance at hot.in so based upon those instructions we got all these details we downloaded the form which is something like uh, this these two pages of pdf we downloaded this form hit this blue button filled up the details got it signed by our HOD which for our case was FN COG because we created an organization called East Coast Railway Headquarters Finance and uh, you all are going to create organizations like East Coast Railway Headquarters Personnel, East Coast Railway Headquarters GM Secretariat, East Coast Railway Headquarters Electrical, East Coast Railway Headquarters SNT and on and on. So uh, we got it filled up by our HOD and uh, they sent it to this particular email ID. We waited <coughs> because we um, because when you send an email you don't get any confirmation you just get something for uh, something like the email has been sent. So we waited for a reply and they reported back uh, with uh, this kind of a message it said that dear sir east coast railway headquarters finance has been added in our portal kindly onboard the nodal officer form at the following link so what they've done is they have actually added our organization uh, and it will feature on this particular url which is http colon double slash central attendance gov in these two are not very important don't forget them so they have onboarded railways onto this portal, East Coast Railways onto this portal and they want us to now onboard the nodal officer. So then we went back to the same um, portal. Uh, we went back to, to now, we went back to central dot attendance dot gov dot in. We again clicked upon organization registration. This is what we got. And uh, Fortunately, we, we, we felt very happy when we saw our organization listed somewhere over here. Now it doesn't feature because we've completed that process, but it does appear over here. So this is what you've got to look out for, and it happened after five days. 15th January, they sent the email a request, and 20th of January, they, were, uh, they gave back this reply that uh, you've got to go to this URL, and you've got to find your uh, organization, and then you've got to fill up these details. These details are nothing but the same details that we had sent to this email ID um, as an attachment. Now we need to fill them up on the online 
com and we also need to attach reattach whatever we had sent earlier and with the confirmation code submit okay once we've done this uh, they give us a confirmation message that they have received the online uh, form and uh, they now will be dispatching the OTP so uh, we were waiting for the OTP to arrive they shot back to us with this kind of a message one liner it said that the organization registration concerned OTP is some six digit number they gave which is not uh, valid now I think it was valid for a couple of days only so this happened on uh, on 21st one day after they sent us the, um, the URL so with this OTP we didn't know what to do with the OTP much but uh, we started you know looking around buttons then we chanced upon this brown button and we're still in the URL central attendance go away organization registration we still have this brown button so we pressed upon this we find <coughs> we again found that our East Coast Railway was listed somewhere over here uh, it's still listed uh, it's still there so uh, it was listed out here then we entered the mobile number uh, which shall now receive the password and the user ID probably I mean we didn't know at th that stage we were in dark neither an NIC was not able to tell us much about it and we entered the OTP that we had received the six digit OTP the confirmation code submitted and we uh, got our message that we should be now getting our user ID password very soon next was the email that contained our user ID and password this is what they said one day after 22nd of January they are uh, they passed us the user ID which is ECRH and the password some combination of alpha vex and numbers and we now went back to the same portal which is central.attendance.com.in and uh, we now look forward to logging into the system we were apprehensive uh, that uh, this URL might not be correct uh, but once we uh, logged in we found that it's working I'll show it to you so it worked so the next thing we did was we downloaded the you know the client software for the desktop which is for recognizing the device etc I will come to that in a video later um, so this is what we got but we are still not happy about this this central because we thought it it's not uh, specific to east coast railway but somewhere it said hi ECRH so we were happy that at least it recognizes that it's east coast railway that's uh, trying to do something on the console so what we did was we just clicked this button dashboard uh, then went to organizations more info and we typed in east coast and we found sorry, east coast and we found that it's listed and it's got a url of its own so this is actually the, the, you know, the subdomain that is relevant to my organization which is east coast railway headquarters finance for uh, you you go to first create your organization by sending them the details of the organization then the details of the nodal officer that will be followed by a OTP that will be followed by a user ID and a password and only then you will be able to find yourself with a subdomain something like this uh, it might be ECRH SNT for signal and telecom it might be ECRH P for personal it might be ECRH uh, uh, GM for GM secretariat I mean it can be anything it totally depends upon the nerds sitting out there in NIC who are handling uh, the whole thing through our emails so I have given you a complete overview of the exchange of emails and uh, the the kind of uh, things that have happened in the first few days or I would say uh, the first week after we sent our request 
which uh, is very important because then you actually get into uh, more specific jobs which is of uh, uh, logging into as the nodal officer and then registering your employees and verifying them thank you